removing dust spots in Luminar Neo is our topic today on Luminar Coffee Break. Let's see what we can accomplish in 10 minutes or less, starting now. Well, hello everyone. I'm glad you could join us. Now, this is a first look at Luminar Neo's um, dust removal. So, uh, here's an image and here are some dust spots. And I'm gonna explain how they got onto your camera sensors and what we could do to fix it so we don't have to use Luminar Neo for this, all right? But we're gonna come over here to the Edit tab. And again, this is a tech build, so not all tools are available to us. We do have um, dust removal, line removal, power line removal, and of course, relight, all right? So let's check out how incredible this is. So if I come down here and click on remove dust spots and within a few seconds, look at that. The dust spots are gone. Now here is a vignetting from the lens that can be fixed by cropping or by doing different tools. But look how easy it was to remove, remove those dust spots. Now, why is that such a big deal? All right. And you're probably wondering, uh, excuse me. I mean, so you're probably wondering, why is that such a big deal? You could do it in, in Lightroom, but you have to manually do it. You could do it in Photoshop, but then you'd have to create a batch. Here, by doing it inside Luminar Neo, what we're able to do, which is so cool, is we're able to do one click, remove those dust spots, and if you had a series of images with those dust spots on there, we could create a template and apply it to all the images. All right, so that was your first look, again, at removing dust spots, real simple. It took us less than a minute. Now, here's a good image. Look at this. If you wake up and you go to edit your images and you see this, what you need to do immediately is stop, go out and purchase one of these. All right, and it's, it's a little, it's a cleaning air blower for your camera. And this right here, will save you a lot of time and aggravation on um, dust spots in your images. So it's extremely important to do this. If you are experiencing dust spots, the best choice you could do is turn the camera over upside down and um, un unscrew the lens, unscrew the lens. And from here, while it's upside down, blow out any of the excess dust that could be in there. Most cameras nowadays, have a little auto clean to when you shut the camera off, it does a little vibration and it tries to remove those dust spots. If the dust spots will not move, if you can't get rid of them, then you may have to send it in and have them clean your lens sensor or for the mirrorless, have it clean it there. But keep in mind, it can easily be done at home, but you're also taking the risk of if you mess up, you ruin the camera. So if you don't feel comfortable doing that, the next time we had a trade show, a camera, uh, a photography trade show, or if you go by like B&H or one of those places, just drop the camera off and have them take care of it. All right. So that was your real quick first look. I mean, it was so simple. It's there. The cool thing about this is it does recognize birds, airplanes, stars. So it knows that those are not dust spots. It's looking for the dust spots that are produced under your camera sensor, and it does a great job at removing those. And like I said, the best part of it is that you're able to create a template with that as one of the tools that you use. And once you click on it, you can apply it to a whole batch of images and remove the dust spots on an entire set. All right? Well, guys, thank you so much for joining us. Now, tomorrow here in the US is Thanksgiving. So we will not be having a Luminar Coffee Break Thursday or Friday of this week. We'll continue with next week with more first looks of Luminar uh, Neo. Well, thanks for joining us. Have a great and safe Thanksgiving, and I'll see you at the next Coffee Break.